Well, we're standing in the 19th century burial ground that was attached to the hospital. And this ground, what kind of numbers did it yield? The area that we excavated, um, we found 260 burials. There was something quite unusual about some of the remains that we found in the coffins. We didn't just find burials of complete individuals, we also found burials of dissected remains. Uh, uh. Before the Anatomy Act, the only legal source of bodies for dissection were those of executed criminals. And, and why were the bodies of executed people allowed? What was the thinking there? Well, it was seen as a punishment worse than death, really. If your body was dissected and cut up into lots of pieces, it meant that your physical corpse couldn't be resurrected. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, the, gosh, I mean, this really went to the very heart of matters, as far as people were concerned. I mean, this was, this was a terribly important thought yes. that their body couldn't walk up and, and go to heaven. Yeah. So before 1832, people who'd been executed could then be dissected. But were others dissected too? Yes, there were other ways of supplying corpses to the medical schools. One of them was to turn to the services of a group of people that we know as the resurrection men. So they would go to burial grounds and they would dig up the bodies of recently deceased people and they would sell them to the medical schools. But we also know that at the London, they were using the bodies of dead patients as well to supply the medical school. With permission? No, not with permission. They were being buried in the burial ground and then they were being dug up at night and taken into the medical school.